All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. Today, it's kind of well, it's, it's kind of a Giant Foods episode. I mean, I'm not really making anything giant. I'm just making a giant portion of pasta and meatballs. We're gonna do a great big, huge pasta and meatball challenge. And of course, I got some garlic toast to go along with it too, because bread is life. Carbohydrates, right? He told me I had to give up carbs, and I said, not over my bread body. That was a dad joke. Let's put this thing together. So, we got some Italian style meatballs here and I know you're disappointed already because I didn't make them myself, but you know how long it would take to make 120 meatballs and how expensive that would be? Because right now these things are like six bucks a bag. There's no way I could make that for six dollars in Hamburg. So, we're going in. One bag of balls, Andy Pool. Andy Pool's back on the Friday flow today. One bag of balls, two bag of balls, and these meatballs weigh almost two pounds a bag. So, it's almost four pounds of balls right there. Four pounds of balls. We got some three cheese pasta sauce here. Saucy. We got the sauce going in. Four jars of sauce, a pound and a half a jar. We got about four and a half pounds of sauce. I even got some meat flavored sauce in case my meatballs weren't flavored enough. So now we got 120 balls soaked in sauce cooking. Right, so we got some pasta going in. Four boxes of the fettuccine. And I'd like to thank one of my subscribers for sponsoring all this pasta. She sent me 16 pounds of pasta in one shot. so. Been able to get like three challenges out of that, so I do appreciate that. It's a lot of pasta. It is a lot of pasta. It's definitely greatly appreciated. So we got four boxes of that going in. Got that barilla. Barilla. Got to stir your balls, Andy Pool. Stirring up my balls. We got our pasta. We're gonna drain that. Looks hot. Yeah, it does. Look at that steamy goodness, Andy Pool. Maybe we'll actually uh, let this one cool down a little bit so I don't burn my face. Probably a good call. Probably is a good call. We're gonna go straight in. Comment below what your favorite noodle is. I, I, I really do like fettuccine. I also like linguine. Maybe it's elbow macaroni, I'm not sure. I like the angel hair. You know, I, I, just, I can't agree with that. It's good. It's good stuff. Splitting your balls up. I definitely got to split the balls over there and everything I cook. Sometimes you just have to split your balls. It's got our, right. first, our first batch of balls going in. Our first batch. And our second batch of balls. Oh, look at that ball pour. Oh yeah! Get some extra sauce. Some extra sauce. Yeah, some Parmesan on there. Some cellulose, aka wood shavings. Those are good wood shavings. Those are good wood shavings. There we go. Oh, I came in late. 
left it. Alright, Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips there, we went ahead and put together this 17 and a quarter pound bowl of pasta, meatball sauce, and garlic toast. This thing is ridiculous. This might... Actually, I think it is bigger than the chicken alfredo challenge with breadsticks. I think we've outdone ourselves. What do you think, Mr. Poole? We've outdone ourselves. We actually are going to let this cool down a little bit because, as you can see, it's piping hot. Then we're gonna get into Without this Without further ado, the 17 and a half pound pasta and meatball, the side of the garlic toast challenge. Three, two, one. Pasta time. Remember, there's 120 meatballs in this thing. Hundred and eighteen. Hundred and eighteen we tested too. There's 118 in here. Definitely so hot. That dip your bread in the sack. No steam coming off that. Comment below what your favorite pasta dish is. A little bit of Which is interesting considering the birthday is uh, National Lasagna Day. Yeah, right. What day is your birthday? 29th, that's it. I'm going to say 27. It's also National Wing Day. <laughs> National Wing Day. Andy Poole's birthday is on National Lasagna Day and National Wing Day. Maybe I should get some lasagna flavored wings. Some lasagna and wings, new challenge. Yeah, lasagna and pasta. Or lasagna and wings. Law. The law can. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mm. I am you. I am you. Comment below if you know what that's from. I am betrayed La. I am La. I almost need like a Stalai Stone voiceover. Seven me now. Seven. Seven. Digging through trying to get all the balls out of here because they're starting to get cold. The pasta, not so much. I don't like the myself. I don't get views. Kill myself for your shit for what? Like mass, I'm gonna drink a bottle of soda and get like 16 million. <coughs> I just decided to sit here and drink this can of Pepsi today. Oh yeah, you see mass soda, you drink that can of soda. Yeah. No, sorry, I missed it. Anderson, stop. I question what I do to myself sometimes. 15 minutes from work? 15 minutes? Oh lord. There's so much still there. Oh yeah. I don't know if I can do it. I'm just getting dry. Where's the water on? I think about it. <laughs> oh, I have to have to see that glass though. Yeah. And my three hasn't been that good. It's been a little inconsistent. And just because you can do three in water doesn't mean you can do 24 pounds of food in water. That is not how it works. I wish. That is not how it works. I'll tell you what's killing me is a meatball. Pasta you eat it. Like I get a good rhythm going and I pick up a meatball and it's like, oh. So as long as I get the pasta in the back of my throat, I can swallow it.
Sweating as bad as I thought it would. Hurry up, my freaking battery's already halfway down. I must not put a charge one out. I saw like, like four, really. There's four. There's more bowling here than a good floor yet. Yeah. I'm feeling like bow. I don't have ten balls in my mouth. <laughs> some sort of record 10 balls in your mouth I don't know that might be a record I'm gonna have to look it up at Google how many balls don't Google that the most balls in person's mouth one time I guarantee there's a Guinness record for it it's not the type of balls that you guys are thinking of Except when it doesn't want to swallow, anyways. No, him. It's like a never ending bowl of pasta. It's like a Olive Garden dream, but after 17 pounds of this stuff, I'm pretty much over it. <sighs> I'm about to have a code brand. feeling. Stand up. Yeah, I need some space.
like one more mouth. Very good, you guys. Wow. Alright, kill the queen. So there you have it. 17 and a half pounds pasta meatball garlic toast challenge. We count the water 22 pounds. We don't count the water though. 17 and a half pounds of solid food in 35 minutes. What am I doing with myself? But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. <clears throat> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you turn on the bell down below there. That way you can notify when I'm gonna do something crazy like this. I mean, these challenges are getting kind of crazy. I think that's, besides the 22 pound shepherd's pie that was more like soup, I think this is the biggest challenge I've done with solid food before. I must be out of my mind. But I do it for you guys. So like always, <clears throat> eat pasta. If you want to send me anything, information below, you can send me a challenge. This was a sponsored challenge. Subscriber. You guys are awesome. You have good ideas. Information below. And until next time, eat a big bowl of pasta. Just, just, eat, a, just eat a regular sized bowl of pasta. Take it easy.